Hey everybody, this will be my last video uh, um, responding to this for the now until the next time we run into each other. Um, just a quick one, Mrs. Magnitude's um, father is on his last legs, so can we have praise for Mrs. Magnitude's father after that? I mean, he's over 90 for God's sakes, but after that, it, Natalie will be an orphan. And this leads me to um, this fucking idiot here, Mark Davis, who enjoys trolling, is what he does. A very busy man who uh, is not one to lie, so busy that he, he's always online, you know? I don't know how he does it. Uh, and as for me, for my sudden spurt of being online, no, Mark, I haven't lost a job or anything, but what has happened is hours are being lost or taken down because of what we call supply and demand after Christmas season, so that's that. Uh, also, as well, I'm on compassionate leave. Um, why am I telling you this? I don't, need to, I don't need to tell anything to you. Anyway, I just thought I'd address, like, just a few things, okay? I don't care about videos that are, um, you know, put my uh, face on there via artificial intelligence. That's absolutely fine. You're welcome to do that. In fact, I enjoy stuff like that. I think it's very creative. And like, unlike you, I can have the piss taken out of me and I find it funny. I don't get angry about it, you know? I don't I'm like, wow, what a shit house, you know? I can enjoy that. I mean, if you don't have the ability to laugh at yourself, then I don't really know what you have got. But that's just a personal opinion. Um, but yeah, unbelievable the shit you say, though. Um, no one will ever take you seriously, apart from calling absolutely anything that moves and has a pulse as a nonce. You, um, you know, you're saying shit like I abuse my stepson, just for you know, like it's so off the wall. Wow. We did a video on it, and you're saying that we nervously laughed and tried to cover him up and not let him speak. I did do a stupid thing. I walked off to the toilet as you were still talking. Um, but, nah, man. I mean, I don't know I could prove anything to you anyway, but I told you who abused him. It was his uncle named Pete, and you can find you can find his dead body on the internet if you're that into it, mate. He was hit by a train because he couldn't deal with the fucking... because he was abused himself, you see, and so the cycle continues. And I strongly suspect you were abused. Oh, no, yeah, that's right, you were. You say you, like, ran away and stuff, but I don't reckon so. And that's not a problem, you know, and that's how you got your half a million or whatever, which you'd like to brag about or some shit and that, good, good for you you know I <sighs> then we come to well when that doesn't work and clearly you look like an idiot even though you're trying to fucking well deflect mirror you do everything that anyone else does you know in terms of if someone says something you take their language you are the epitome of a troll with fucking too much time on his hands clearly you know but what's gonna interest me I guess your grift is you know, you're literally like um, like a media grift, like, you know, the Owl Man, you're claiming that you're going to get a movie or some sort of, you know, uh, rights to it or whatever. That's great. That's cool. But these companies, they're very cancel culture-ish. They don't, you know, very woke. They don't like things like that. I mean, let's hit victim points. You know, my stepson is with... No, we don't need to go there either, but I'm sure you can find out and you know what I was going to say. But if they ever saw, and I know why you delete all your stuff eventually, if they ever saw what you put out and the effort you go to, to, you know, I, I don't think they'd like to do business with you. I really don't. I mean, I'm not one to send a shit like that. I'm not interested in doing that. I don't think you should send things to fuck up someone else's livelihood. What is on the internet today isn't the internet. But yeah, me, me cheating. My wife directly asked you. Now, it's not me. That's her profile. There are videos in there, look, of, of my daughter, if you look. But you know this. And of course you know this. You're just using this excuse. She said, look, she said to me, uh, to you, sorry, she will even break up with me and kick me out to the curb if you can prove that I've cheated. You keep bringing up Oxfordshire and shit like that. So I'm well known in all these places. What? Mm, okay, I don't know what you're talking about, but sure, I mean, I used to travel all around the UK, you know, especially with my job, you know, I do get around a bit, but, you know, show what you've, you've been showing, you reckon you've got text messages or some shit, there isn't any, is there, you're lying, you talk rubbish, and you just delete her comment and then turn around and say, stop trying to be like your, your wife in a different profile, right, <laughs> no, Mark, absolutely no, and anyone knows this, you know, I think the list of, like, people that don't like you is actually a lot higher than the people that do like you. I'm sure to you, every single one of those is a plant pot or a cabbage or a pill popping, whatever it is. You know, you stand up for mental health, don't you? But then you fuck around with these people who, in, in your own words, have mental health problems. That's interesting. That really is interesting. 
Do you, do you see the, the contradiction there? Like how ridiculous that is? You're standing up for someone. I mean, the people you stand up for, you already abused anyway. You abused them anyway. And somehow, I think they become friends of you because they're scared. They don't want to go through it again. They're absolutely terrified of you. Um, you know, but yeah, it's, it's insane. And it goes around. It's a pattern. It's a pattern. It's not just, you know, once every so often. You dedicate channels to it over and over again. And you're calling people fat, but you're kind of large yourself. I mean, all right, you might have some good arm muscle, but you still got a fucking belly. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> wow, but okay, you know, it's like you're insecure or something, I don't know. But my point of this video was this, right? You clearly got nothing. You got no evidence why I cheated. I'll tell you why you got no evidence why I cheated, because I've never cheated in my life, okay? And, you know, yeah, I, 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 you, you say you spend, like, more time with another female friend compared to Hayley, even more time. Well, when does your wife even get looking? You spend a lot of time with her. You know what I mean? That's that's my point I was trying to make. Like, fucking hell, do you spend any time together? Or are you one of these people that, you know, can only be with your wife for a certain amount of time, you know? I'm We are with together 24-7, me and my wife, because uh, we just literally gel that well. It's amazing. Um, I've never known anything like it, you know? Uh, in fact, if we start getting far apart, we start arguing. It's the perfect, you know, marriage on that front, you know? We have ups and downs like everything else. But, you know, it's usually to do with, you know, just fucking uh, the day, the grind of daily life. Not really anything to do with a relationship issue, if that makes sense. I've taken a few minutes out to make this when, you know, uh, I'm, in a, I'm, in a, I'm in a waiting room somewhere. Um, but I've just taken some time out to make this because you're not going to see responses from me today. I'm not going to be fucking going back and forth with you. I mean, at the end of the day, you're only, that's what you want anyway. That's your aim is to get back and forth. You, you fuck with people, you switch up profiles and don't say you don't have different profiles and oh, that wasn't me. Even if, it, you know, someone said that is clearly you and it was you, like you'd ever go, oh yeah, you got me. You know what I mean? You you just wouldn't. You, you're, you're a twat. You really are. And you say, uh, you're on my mind? Are you sure I'm not on your mind? I mean, fuck me. This all started because I put a comment on a video ripping a piss out of you. Sorry, a book. A book. I know you don't read very often, so a book is what I wrote. A very short book. I mean, it's big for a comment, but for a book, it's pretty fucking short. And you, you couldn't deal with that. You, you, oh, fuck me. Right, right, are you fucking this, that, and the other. Rather than just going, ah, oh, he's bell end, he doesn't know what he's talking about, you know. No, we have to have the whole fucking spiel about how I had a, a gang called Truth Seekers and uh, keep going backwards and forwards with that shit. It just never ends. But don't you dare have a look at a five-year-old video from Mark, for God's sakes. Yeah, you know, it's five years old. It's what? It's irrelevant. <laughs> You are a walking contradiction and stuff, you know, you don't play fair, you know, it's one rule for you, but not for somebody else when it comes to engagement, that's just the way you are, just a troll, that's all you are and all you'll ever be on that front, I reckon, like I said already, there are a lot more people that don't like you, afraid of you, have bad experiences of you on the internet than there are in, in on the internet that like you, I really do. I also reckon that the people that do, like, the majority of people that are do like your, or like your content on your main channel, your, your Ghost Adventures copy channel, um, I honestly believe that they don't really know what you get up to. If they did, they'd probably be a little bit disgusted and, like, not want to be part of it, because you only tell a few about your little channel, don't you? Which, you, you know, your sock channel that you put up and, and delete after a period of time, you know. But every day you're firing out all these people. Just look at your community posts. It's not one person, is it? It's several people, and they all swap and change, and, you know, I, I fucking hell. And with that Mama Cass thing, whether that's her or not, right, you know, with with that video, uh, that that picture from ten years ago, of her being naked or whatever, you know, fuck me. So you were gonna share that, but thankfully people sort of come. Just say it's not a good idea, you know. It's pretty bad. I'm sure Nunu is fucking, you know, keeping that to to use as some sort of blackmail. She's a bit thick that one, honestly. Fucking unbelievable. She can't understand she's being used. Because be honest, Mark. You don't like Nikki New, do you? You think she's a plant pot too. You think she's a cabbage. Everything that you despise about people on benefits, which I actually reckon you're on benefits personally. I don't really do. I reckon you claim because of your wife or whatever, and there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. But, you know, you, you, with a state in a state business, well, that's everything that Nikki New does. But that's okay. That's everything that Eileen does. 
You know, you make no sense. But it's a good license, isn't it, when you can stick up for someone because someone's being mean, you know, uh, to someone else having an argument or whatever, you know. I'm ringing up care homes and shit. They ain't got time for that shit. Really, do you think that Shandy goes around sticking on masks, right, and going up to the other going, boogie, 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 or something? Like, like seriously, just because of her, the way she's creating herself. She's a fan of Andy Warhol, for God's sake, so you know who that is. Well, you should know who that is. You know, in terms of artistry and shit, you know? <laughs> Obviously, she's not going to do that at work. That's ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, I bet you she's good at her job. She may well use the phone in her break to fucking, like, get cross. You know... I watch some like Hope Paranormal, Huff Paranormal, you know, and it makes me mad too because obviously I'm passionate about something with the faking and stuff like that, you know? Oh, oh the faking, yeah, of course, and it's me in a duvet jumping, yeah, best fucking photo ever for jumping in a duvet, doesn't even look like a duvet, look at the texture on it as well, and by the way, this is this photo is like from 2007, you know, on, on a fucking Mark I, um... What they call it a smartphone, not even touch screen. You can go on the internet with it and play YouTube, but 144, you know, uh, resolution for playing videos, you know. And it wasn't even me that took the picture anyway, it was actually Molly, one of my wife's friends. We were all together, you know, the account and how it went, okay. Now, if anything, you shouldn't be calling it fake. You should be saying, if you're a smart ass, you would say, no, I don't reckon it is a spirit, I reckon it's a fuck up with the phone because it's such an old phone. Um, and then that's what you would say. It's so fuck up the phone. The dude's trying to portray it as a paranormal event. That would be more believable than just going, oh, you can see the legs, you can see the legs. What? I, I still can't see what you're on about. I mean, if it is legs, I have one leg fatter than the other or something. Nah. And like I say, I have witnesses and accounts of people who were here as well, witnessing all the stuff that happened in that house. It's fucking mental. And um, I get nothing now. Nothing is here. Oh, that means your channel's dead. Yeah, Mark, it, my channel is dead. I was never interested anyway in going, like, viral and amazing, you know. This TV shit you keep bringing up. Oh, you're oh, going to be happy to be on TV. Yeah, I was happy to be on TV to tell my story and show you the picture and explain all the shit that happened because I didn't believe in none of this stuff. None of it, you know. And then I moved into that property. That's what I was interested in. And also putting out... Not that any TV station will let me because they need fake TV shows because you can't capture the paranormal every single time. I guess you can because, you know, either you're the most flukiest investigator alive with some of your spirit box sessions or you're just fucking amazing. Maybe you are fucking amazing, Mark. I don't know. But there's something fishy about your sessions. But it's live, but it's live. I know, I know. That's why I'm not completely... Okay, there's something fishy. I can't work it out. Yeah, go on react to this video, put a video up and uh, tell some more lies, tell some more lies, you know, you do it to everybody, all, oh, everyone, I can't believe you tried to make out that Wayne, okay, the dude's a psychopath, I get that, and he has his rage moments, but is it any wonder when you're going around telling people that he's a paedophile, that Asian girls half naked were being sent to your phone, and then you said, yeah, it's all a lie, you know, like, I, I saw on a, a profile because I didn't watch your live about me the first one the smack it stuff my wife watched a little bit of it but I didn't right where you said that you lied about the Shandy thing about your wife the Shandy was ringing up your wife or something or you lied about that <laughs> just an oral liar you don't have any credibility no one believes you or trusts you you know who could take you seriously who could take you seriously nobody on that front if you're going to be you know, actual real about something in terms of exposing something that's bad, like someone who is a real nonce, okay? I can hear it now. I can hear the reaction video. You're a nonce, really, because you fisted your steps and you sick fuck. I can see it now because you said I preferred the fucking fist as, a, uh, as opposed to the controllers. It's called a joke. It's called bantering. I know you don't do that in your family, maybe. I don't know. It was fucking hilarious. That was witty. Steps was very, very witty. And he said he didn't want to speak about it when it come to Pete, his uncle, the guy who got killed by a train, you know. It, you are not a hero to the, to the weak or, or a protector of. You use people. You use people as a license. That's what you do. It's like a license to ever, and a justification almost, you know. Um, but yeah, the people that you get on live with, like Nikki New, maybe, you, or Eileen or anyone else, 
the sad fact is these people know deep down that you don't like them anyway. You, you know, you don't like them. You fucking think they're planned, but you think they're the same because you've already gone mad at them before. You know, you've already gone crazy and called them all sorts of fucking wow. You go above and beyond. And that's why I call you an A1 or A plus troll because a normal troll does their shit but you you really you make it into an art a craft almost i will say that it is pretty fucking art. i i couldn't have the imagination that you do to pull some of the shit you you do okay so in some ways it, you know you could harness that and make it funny if you're just a little bit less fucking evil with it you know evil you know, let, let's throw out some just, just stuff. Okay, let's just throw, Being as we're making up things on the front. You know that this guy, Mark Davis, was linked to um, trafficking of women, by the way. I had a text message from someone who knows him in his real life. He's also a domestic abuser. He, um, he beats his wife up quite a lot. It, that's why she says nothing about him going out, doing what he wants, you know. She then... You know, she better have the fucking tea ready when he comes back as well. It's pretty sad. Really bad, bad man, you know. Trust me, bro. That's my source. Trust me. You know, I'm going to throw up a load of videos now and just keep reiterating it. What's the purpose? Just to wind someone up, I guess. Whatever. <laughs> Unbelievable. I guess the idea is, is to see if you can trigger someone, you know, like the most gravest thing you can say to someone, like everybody, even on the internet would know that my wife is my life, you know, when it's not if, because you think we're blagging it or some shit, you think she's not ill. Oh, dude, I wish that was the case. I really, really wish that was the case. She's, um... She's going downhill quite fast. Now, they thought it was originally lung cancer, and it fucking took a... Oh, my God, a lot of time. You know what was up, and eventually they come out of COPD emphysema. Um, she's meant to be on stage two, but there are uh, signs of stage three and four in there. But COPD is a complicated thing. I'm not saying, you know, for this for pity's sake or whatever. Just, just is what it is. And I really, really wish I was just blagging it, or her was just blagging it. Again, she's worked her whole life. She enjoys working. She wanted to be the main breadwinner um, for a point. I don't know why that's such a, a bad thing. But some people, the man works, the woman does not. The woman stays home, cooks and cleans. Brr. That's fine. But she, she is fucking hating, hating not working. She, she doesn't like it at all. And she's bedridden, right? She can go downstairs and she can make a cup of tea and come back up. And she's... <sighs> Now, you can say it's self-inflicted, because it is. It's through smoking at the end of the day. That's what it's all over, you know. People, and we know the risk when we do it, but you smoke heavy, Mark. You really do, and you're overweight. It can happen to you. It really can. I know you, like, think I'm taking a piss there, but no, I'm serious, mate. I have tried to go up smoking several times, and I keep seem to get into about a month, and then I start smoking again. I uh, don't smoke anywhere near as much, but... You know, you'd think it would scare me and completely just throw it away and cut out. But such is the evils of addiction. And you say, like, you know, you talk about these people that, oh, this person is addicted to tablets or me of my methadone, whatever. You're addicted to fags, mate. You know, cigarettes. Stop smoking now. Stop, don't lie up a fag and stop smoking now. And just immediately stop and see where you go. I'm sure you can do it. It'll give you health a lot more and you'll be able to punch Oh, 0.7th of a time quicker. <sighs> oh, that reminds me of my next thing about coming to my property. Yeah, you threaten people to come to their property quite a lot. And in a few days, I swear, I have heard from, from various sources that you, you're going to come to my property and you want to see me say stuff to your face. Well, yeah, I'm just letting you know, I, I have the ability to defend myself. You know, that's, that's all that was about. A uh, bit of a stupid fucking thing to put up, really. But, hey, you... you triggered me but i you know i will protect my family you might be right four times bigger than me certainly in that gut of yours you fat cunt and yeah i'm gonna call you that because the amount of things you say about anybody else is horrid you fat fucking fuck but right so you have no right to call whoever is it what righty weighty you call him all right you might be bigger than you i don't know i don't know the dude but you you have no right to call anyone fat you have no right to call anyone ugly 
you're not an oil painter in, in, in any shape or form, okay? You, you're really fucking not. But my point is this, yeah, you could have me. You could, you could just kill me in a second, all right? You really could. If it was like a one-on-one -on -one boxing match, you'd, you'd deck me. Big hard man, aren't you? Picking on, like, you know, not picky, not picking on me at all, actually. Um, but in terms of, uh, you know, tough guy, you you, you know, you, ha having someone that originally weighed eight and a half stone, I've actually put on four stone, by the way, I'm a bit more heavier, especially doing that job where I'm lifting things. I'm actually getting quite strong. Although I fear it's all going to go down the other bit. I'm not doing it as a regular. Um, but yeah, like jokes aside, yeah, of course you can have me. Don't be stupid. But I will still defend my family in any shape or form I can if you come to my door and be stupid. But I don't reckon you will. You won't. You threatened one of my subs a long time ago and you were you were adamant. I promise you, I promise you, you were going to kill them, if you remember. Don't remember that? I'm sure you're going to say no. You were. I can't remember the sub's name now. But in the end, you don't. Because what are you? You're a liar. No one takes you seriously, mate. Look, I'm pretty much done that. I don't want to respond or talk anymore, okay? Yeah. yeah. You know, you can goad me some more and say, ah, oh, chicken shit, uh -huh. coward, uh -huh. no, no, I'm done. I've said what i got to say, you know. You talk shit, saying I fucking cheated, saying I fucking abused my stepson. You, you, you go to the lowest points to try and get a reaction. And the reaction is what gives you the tickles. That's what gives you your little fizz in your little ball bag. That's what that is. You get a little fizz in your ball bag when, when you, you know, you punch down, you don't punch up, Mark. That's the thing, you never punch up. You only punch down. Down. So it doesn't make you clever or big or a protector of the weak or anything like that. It just, um, yeah. But I wonder, you, your list of people that you, you know, go for and, and troll and, and say lies about and call them all these abhorrent things is, is getting pretty big. Now, when I was talking about likes in my video, I wasn't talking about likes about, hi, look at me how amazing my likes are. I figured one like equals one person that has come across you or dealt with you or doesn't like you or doesn't like what you do because otherwise they wouldn't put a like on that video especially as it was unrehearsed rambling a bit like this one really but like i say i'm waiting for something i'm waiting to visit going somewhere um hang on a minute give me a minute yeah one like so the likes are building up and it's nearly 60 like uh, i don't to have 60 people that don't like you like, on the intel, don't feel it. It's, it's, wow. I bet it's more than that. I bet you it's a lot more, you know? I don't really have very many enemies at all. Not not really, you know? I suppose I could clash you as one, but, you know, in terms of an enemy that I'd be worried that they might turn up at my door or something stupid, you know? Because you don't keep things on the internet either. You go for IRL. That, that's what's also disgusting about you. You blackmail people. I've, I've heard it, you know? And I trust them more than I trust what you would say. You know, you blackmail people as well and fuck with them. It's, it's wow, it, that's cowardly really and pretty lame, you know. And you've got all that time. I thought you were a really busy dude, like really busy. At 3 a.m., you're still fucking trying to goad me. And then within by about 10, 11 o'clock, we've got another video up. What do you do? Where's your work? What do you do? You know what I mean? Oh, right, that's right, you, you're on benefits as well in some way, aren't you? Or got money through compensation because this is why you got a thing about monsters. And no, no, I wasn't I wasn't raped, no, no. Just admit, if you were, it doesn't matter. There's nothing bad about that, you know. What a cunt, who did that? But no, you don't want to be associated with that. You're, you're Mark. You're very insecure, dude. You really are. And you can't call me insecure because I can plop on eyeliner. I can dress up, you know, do myself up and be effeminate, you couldn't do that and feel comfortable in that position at all, you know, you really couldn't, you're not comfortable like that, you've got to throw out this, this image, you'll puff your, 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 you know, your chest out to people, uh, it looks like I'm being called in, so I'm going to have to go in a sec, yeah. wait, hang on a minute, two seconds, when I say two seconds, well give me a minute, I've edited it out, obviously I just pressed the stop button on the record, but um, I have to go, um, this is the last video I'm doing on your last reaction. I don't give a fuck, okay? Put what you want up, but at the end of the day, you're a liar. You know, I thought you had something half decent there, you know, or something or other. But I was just absolutely surprised. And all this stems from reading a comment on somebody else's video that was having a bit of fun with you and me putting about my experiences with you. Wow, you, you could what you could have done is replied in that comment and gone, you know, right, you're a fucking prick and all your shit, but no, no, no. You've got to be 
you know, go above and beyond. That's the MD way. Anyway. Au revoir, as in goodbye, not bonjour.